Hi wonderful Nailies, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me for a new tutorial. Um, I'll be starting this tutorial off with uh, Planet Nails base um, colour for the design that I'm going to do using um, making a 3D slash 4D rose. So the colour that I'm using here is Planet Nails 003. Um, you're going to cure that in an LED lamp for 60 seconds and in a UV lamp for 2 minutes. Then I'm just wiping it off with some gel wipe and then I will be applying the Precision Gel Range Matte Top Coat that would just roughen the surface and I prefer um, doing my designs on a rough surface. So then I will cure that in an LED for 60 seconds and 2 minutes in a UV. To do the rose, I'm going to use this number 4 Kaminsky brush and the tomato red um, acrylic from Planet Nails. And then to um, create my leaves on, I'm just using a plain piece of backing paper um, from your nail forms. And I will start off by um, making a straight line with my acrylic. And I'm working with um, dry beads, normal to dry beads, um, and that will also help the product to set a, um, to set a bit faster. Um, as you get more um, advanced with the, this technique, you can start using the fast set powders from Planet Nails, but personally I prefer to use the normal powders. Um, then I will just, when my acrylic has almost um, become completely matte, I will roll up my um, line that I have created and then that will form my centerpiece for my rose. To attach my centerpiece to my nail so I can start with the design, just picking up a wet bit of clear acrylic and then replacing that um, centerpiece <laughs> on it but I'm having trouble picking it up again so just making a tweezers and um, with slight pressure just pick it up and place it onto your wet feet. Then I will start creating my leaves um, one by one. Um, I create multiple leaves at a time. I have done this a few times but for starters I will recommend that you start with one to two leaves. Um, then you will make your leaf um, in a half moon shape. And then from there, um, as soon as your acrylic starts to become almost completely matte, you can um, lift your leaf off of your backing paper and then you're going to place it around your seat. Um, the monomer on your brush will help the leaf stick to the centerpiece. So you do not need to add any clear acrylic or anything like that. <clears throat> I want to apologize for the harshness of my voice. I'm, I'm still a bit sick, but um, I really wanted to share this video with you guys. So um, if you have any questions or anything else you'd like to know, you can ask me in the comment section below. I will um, try and answer your questions as soon as I can. Um, and then I will just keep on building leaves until I am satisfied with the size of my rows and the details um, of my rows. Um, I, I've just switched um, the paper around. Um, it's easier to work on the matte side of your backing paper. For me personally, I prefer using the matte side um, than the shiny side. Um, sometimes it's just um, not as easy to manipulate your leaves on the shiny side than on the right side. So making my leaves, waiting for them to set and polymerize, and then picking them up and adding them to my rows. So what I would also do is where I have um, where I have placed my previous leaves where they meet on the rows, um, I will just take my next leaf and overlap those. Um, overlap where those two pieces meet. And then you just go on with your design, um, adding your leaves as you require them. Yeah. 
Remember your leaves do not have to be perfect. Um, this is art, it's not supposed to be perfect. And um, if it's not perfect, it just gives your rose a bit more character and um, it just it just looks more natural because the natural roses petals aren't all of them aren't perfect. So yeah. And as you um, as you need bigger leaves, you're gonna pick up bigger beads of acrylic to make your leaves bigger. The smaller the leaves you want, the smaller your bead of acrylic will be. And if you find that you might pick up a bead that's a bit too wet, you can always just um, strain it on a piece of the paper towel um, to remove any excess monomer and then you can use it. And when you feel that you're struggling to pick up your leaves, you can just uh, wet your brush in a bit of monomer. Do not oversaturate your brush, just wet it a little bit and then um, you will be able to pick up the leaf again. Then as um, I applied my rose petals, um, some of the red acrylic was um, smudging on my nail. Then I would just take my brush clean with a bit of monomer and then just remove that colour. So, yeah. 
so I'm going to use um, plastic to apply some crystals as well. So I was thinking of doing the black ones, but um, I decided against it and I see that I didn't take it out of the video at <laughs> I do apologize for this. Um, but now you'll see how they would have looked on the design. Um, I just needed smaller ones. Um, smaller ones would have looked better. Um, but I decided to switch from these ones to the silver rhinestones. But these would have looked nice if I had smaller ones, but unfortunately, I did not. So yeah, I just took off the um, black ones and I'm using elastic again to just stick down the right stands and um, applying my elastic. And then I will apply my stones. And the nice thing about when you secure your stones with elastic, your stones aren't going anywhere. Um, this is the rhinestone pen from Planet Nails that I'm using to pick up my stones. I'm in love with this. It picks up any size stone um, or rhinestone crystal without any hassle. Um, I just love this. I would recommend anyone to get one of these. <laughs> they are amazing. I do apologize um, if you hear my son's cartoon in the background. <laughs> I'm having them sit here by me um, doing my videos so I can just have an eye on them as well. So then you will cure your elastic in a UV lamp for 2 minutes and in an LED for 60 seconds. Then I will um, glaze everything um, thinly, a thin, thin, thin coat of UV glaze. Um, I do that around the rows, um, in the rows as well. And then I just UV glaze that and cure that in a UV lamp for two minutes and an LED lamp for 60 seconds. Then I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe to YouTube. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.